the internal resistance for DC DC is 16 milliohms maximum. Bad cells usually means that they doesn't have good discharge rate. No matter is it Molly cell, Samsung, LEG, any brand that we're using, we're using strictly from uh, legit importers in the United States. So what is up guys and girls? In today's video, we are not riding, we are taking a drive and we are going to visit the boys over at Power of Olympia. And what will we be discussing today? We're talking about cells. So I've always been curious as to what kind of cells they use as well as where they get their cells from. So we'll be having a little conversation with our boy V to get a little bit more information about the cells that he uses. So without any further ado, let's get into this one. V, let's talk about cells. How do you know if you have a good cell or a bad cell? It's very easy, there is equipment. This is device that you can measure internal resistance. This is like pocket device, but there is also big machines you can feed with uh, a lot of cells inside and machine doing everything. You, made, you set parameters, what's good, what's bad, and machine does everything. That's like for huge factories, you can do that, or you can do also with this little, little device here. So basically every cell has data sheet, specifications. So data sheet exp explaining when you're charging, discharging, wh wh what's happening uh, with the battery, with what, what kind of temperature reaching on certain uh, discharge. And every cell has a data sheet from a manufacturer, from the cell from manufacturer. In this case, we have here Molly cell P42A. As you can see here, typical 4.2 amp hours or 42 milliamp hours. 4200 milliamp hours and minimum 4 amp hours capacity in each cell and very important what I always looking in for any kind of cell any kind someone mentioned some cell what I look always I look was the discharge rate was the capacity and was the internal resistance internal resistance a smaller a smaller resistance in the cell better cell that's like rule number one. That's very important. With that, you know, is it cell good or not? So like example, internal resistance for DC, DC is 16 milliohms maximum. We're gonna, move, we're gonna move this into lithium ion cells because this device can measure so many different different uh, cells and we're gonna use any cell and check what's the internal resistance milli ohms you can see this here it will say us voltage and it will say us how many milli ohms also milli ohms can oscillate if you don't have good contact or something like that it can be slightly higher or slightly down but it need to be under 15 milli ohms i'm gonna do that now and check Look at that, 11 milliohms, 3.52 volts. Let's grab another cell. Let's grab here any, any cell and test. Three point forty-seven volt, 12 milliohms. Again. 11 milliohms. I, I have probably better contact now because I pressed better. Usually sure. we have usually we have a, like a plug and then we slide in and that we check. This is just manually for, for this video. Let's grab another cell like this. Doesn't matter. Oh, like this. Doesn't matter. Let's grab two, three cells. Those cells. And let's Test them. 
minus on minus, positive on positive, and check. 12 milliohms. 12 milliohms. Next one. 9 milliohms. See? Mm -hmm. Next one. 14 milliohms. Everything is under 60. That means that cell is healthy, first thing, and mean that cells is legit. Let's say if someone try to sell you this size cell, because when you open this cell, inside is same casing, you, you don't know. So only what we see difference in this moment is those numbers, what they're saying, they can say whatever they want. But when you measure with this device, you see is it matching specification by the by the data sheet. Let's say someone trying to give you some non-brand under this name, label, whatever, you check and you see uh, internal resistance is higher. That's not good. That's the reason why we strictly buying cells locally in United States from trustful shops. It's not shops, they are importers of those cells, legit importers, and we don't want to play games like to order cells, order cells overseas or something like that. Cells strictly we buying in the United States because uh, people will be buying cells, they have certifications that they have legit cells. Okay, so you're buying from reputable distributors? Absolutely, always. With, with cells, we don't want to gamble ever like cells always we try to get here even it's a little bit ex more expensive than if you go directly and buy overseas right. but we want to have always uh, legit cells in every hour build no matter is it molly cell samsung leg any brand that we're using we're using strictly from uh, legit importers in the united states nowhere else we have amazing product after everything because we really taking our job very serious and uh, trying to make always amazing product. And also very important, if you have, let's say, bad cells, what's happening? Bad cells usually means that they doesn't have good discharge rate. So if someone using not Bast cells and if someone put together battery with like non brand the battery can be in that moment good but after one cycle after two cycle while you're stressing that die while you're pulling when we, can, when we say stressing that means nothing too bad it means we using that battery we're trying to pull amps what we need for our e-bike or vehicle whatever so when you try to do that, pack that being balanced, if it's not best quality cells, automatically pack will start with unbalancing. It's gonna be unbalanced, which is not good. And every customer will see, uh-huh, my pack is unbalanced. And they're trying then to balance that with BMS, with everything, and nothing helping because cells, if it's not good inside, and also if it's not good build, cells starting to be unbalanced. So one or the other need to be. Cells not, got, not, not perfect or build is not good. One or the other. That's the two main reasons why battery being unbalanced. If you check our batteries, our batteries, like for all those years while we're building batteries, uh, never happened that people having uh, unbalanced battery only very rarely, very rarely uh, happens if people physically damage their battery and then one group being unbalanced. But we fix that. People come back here, if we take the open in front of the, of the customers, if they, if they locally, if they, like I said, I can say maybe four or five times that happened, something like that, when customer basically <coughs> damaged battery is dropped or had accident or something like that so then come back to us having issue we take care of that and we take pictures of you can see how they've been damaged like 
been squished cells and you see that these physically damaged cells and what's happening in that moment that one cell that been damaged draining whole group and that's why starting to be unbalanced battery like i said so far for almost every hour build no unbalanced packs so basically when you have good quality cell and good build that's it battery must work good. Even our batteries, every hour battery has proper BMS to, to charge and to discharge. And our BMS also has option to self-balance if happen ever that is unbalanced. And basically that function we're not using on our batteries. I mean, it's set already. Or like if something like that happened, that BMS will take care of that, but doesn't need maybe after five seven ten years maybe it will need because those cells they have a life. like thousand cy a thousand cycle lives right. a life uh, of th thousand cycles after that you can expect the cell can start to be unbalanced after thousand thousand cycles is a lot thousand cycles is every time whenever you have fully charged battery and you fully discharge completely empty right and then that's one cycle so if you're using everyday bike to commute let's say with our onyx tia battery 50 amp hours people getting like 80 90 100 110 miles depends of road conditions ride ride uh, how many pounds how how heavy a rider is like all those conditions uh with that bike if you're commuting 10 miles each way basically three days you're good for sure, without even four days. That means you're extending, the year has 365 days, so basically seven years, years you can use just to commute for 10 miles each way to, every day with no, with, no, with no problems. So that's what's making our batteries great. Mm -hmm. And people is very happy because no problems. Just take care, don't drop, don't leave on cold weather for too long without charge. Take care of battery and battery will get to give you back power. That's it, very simple. So there you have it. A brief explanation about the type of cells that they use and where they get their cells from. If you're like me and you enjoy hearing the things that V like to say about the product that they put out, you guys need to subscribe to their channel. They are putting together a video series that you are not gonna wanna miss. In the description below, you will find a link to visit their personal channel. Give them a follow. If you are also like me and own a powerful lithium battery and are reaping the benefits of that battery, show them your support. If you haven't already, go on to Google and give them a positive review. And like always, if you guys enjoyed what you saw, please don't hesitate, smash the like button. Leave a comment, I get back to everybody, and if you want to, please subscribe. So until the next video, peace out everybody. Project CSUN is upon us, get ready.